the newly imposed sanctions on government officials subverting Zimbabwean democracy, introduced by the Joe Biden administration, have been attributed by ZANU-PF to the CCC led by Nelson Chamisa. Since 2002, the United States and its Western allies have imposed sanctions on the ruling party, which has a track record of embezzling elections. According to this policy, the United States will pursue visa restrictions for people who are thought to be accountable for or complicit in undermining democracy in Zimbabwe. In accordance with Section 212 of 3C of the Immigration and Nationality Act, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken stated in a statement on Tuesday, the electoral process may be manipulated or rigged. Voters may be disenfranchised or prevented from exercising their right to vote. Political opposition members may be barred from electoral processes. Civil society organizations CISO's ability to operate and participate in democratic governance or human rights-related activities may be restricted, or voters, election observers, or CSOs may be intimidated by threats or physical acts of violence, according to Blinken. These could include involve exploiting or breaching Zimbabwean human rights, meddling with the judiciary's impartial functioning during the adjudication of election matters, or participating in corrupt activities, including as bribery, that compromise the electoral process. These limitations may also apply to such individuals' families. This policy may render anyone who sabotages Zimbabwe's democratic process ineligible for you. S. Visas, including before, during, and after the country's August 2023 elections. According to him, the policy limiting visas will only apply to certain people who are participants in these acts and is not intended for the Zimbabwean people. The ambitions of Zimbabweans for free and fair elections that uphold democracy, the rule of law, and the defense of human rights are supported by the United States. The recent general elections were handled in a way that has drawn criticism from the USA. Zimbabwe's harmonized elections, according to observers from the African Union, European Union, and Southern African Development Community, did not meet regional and global norms. Puparei Tagaripi, the chief whip for ZANU-PF responded to the U.S. statement by claiming that Jamisa and his party had an effect on the decision to renew the sanctions.